Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And in this short video, I'm going to just talk about a few concepts which affected the way mathematics was developed. So let's begin. In uh, history, we see people like Ramanujan, who was that famous Indian mathematician, and he came up with some really nifty formulas, okay? Now, what's remarkable is that he was working with flawed concepts, such as infinity and all the other drivel <clears throat> that was extant at the time, okay? So, like Newton, like uh, Leibniz, just imagine what Ram Ramanujan could have done if he used well-formed concepts. So, where did Newton and Leibniz go wrong. Well, they couldn't explain. They couldn't explain this. Okay, this quotient. They just, for some unknown reason, it seemed that uh, they couldn't get past the fact that it was a non-parallel secant line slope. Okay, like that. Okay, the slope of this secant line. They couldn't get past that. I mean, it, it didn't even occur to their silly brains that that slope is composed of the slope and the difference okay that's where they failed so in my star geometric theorem i actually solved this for the first time i resolved the problems in calculus not newton or leibniz i did and the way i did that is i decomposed this difference quotient into the derivative Right, and by the way, you, you see f prime of x. You didn't have to call it that. You could call it deriv x. Doesn't matter. Okay, plus <clears throat> the slope difference, which I just called q of x h. Slope difference, slope difference, and of course, I never would have realized this if I, if I hadn't been using my brilliant new calculus. Okay, because new calculus doesn't have ill-formed concepts. And it uses the correct, the correct uh, approach. So in the new calculus, what you have is something like this. You have f of x plus n minus f of x minus m over m plus n. And that is exactly equal to f prime of x, or it's exactly equal to f prime of x plus q of x m n, because this is always zero. But in your flawed mainstream calculus, this is hardly ever zero. It's only guaranteed to be zero if, if this function here, f, is linear, okay? This function is linear. So I'll place a link to my star geometric theorem. And notice, by the way, that if you get into GPT, it will tell you a lot of assertions and opinions that mainstream community hasn't accepted this, that they think it's not rigorous. That's all BS. They've never found anything that doesn't work in the new calculus. Everything works 100% because it's based 100% on geometry. And how can you know that I'm speaking the truth? By studying my new calculus. So if you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber to my channel. Click like and also follow me. This is my channel, by the way. Also follow me on academia.edu. And just for your information, you can become a members only uh, subscriber by clicking the join button okay so if you click this join button over here <clears throat> this join button here let's just stop this video like that then you can join my channel for 4.99 a month and in the uh, members only section i i do share information i've never shared with the pub public before so that's pretty much it um, i'll also place a link to one of my free ebooks which shows you how to learn the correct way. And if you want to support me, you can purchase a non-watermark version on Amazon Kindle. So that's pretty much it. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Till next time.